Hi, this is Amy Griesack with North 40 Outfitters and today we're going to talk about how to water your lawn properly to keep it healthy and green. Now watering of course is essential, especially in the West where sometimes we don't always have the rain that we really wish we had. So it's up to us to give our lawn the moisture that it needs. One of the biggest mistakes of watering the lawn is overwatering. In reality, we only need one to one and a half inches of water a week, which means once you break it down to two or three at the most times a week, you're looking at maybe a half an inch of water each watering. So this is a lot different and it's a lot more healthy to do it this way because it gets down to the roots and keeps them healthy and growing and doesn't just stay on top where it quickly evaporates and really doesn't do the lawn any good. So how do you know how much you're watering, which is always the big question. Now there are fancy calculations you can run if you have an automatic sprinkler system, but the easiest way is to take a jar, put it out in your lawn about you know where your normal sprinklers are running, whether you have one of the wonderful portable sprinklers or whether you have an in-ground system, and see how long it takes for it to fill a half an inch or an inch of water. Simple as that. And then you know how long you need your sprinklers to run in order to get that half an inch each time that you water. Window water is also one of the critical times that is important to a healthy lawn. Now a lot of people turn on their sprinklers and just let them go at any time of the day. But truthfully, for the best watering availability for the plants, you want to be able to turn the sprinklers on first thing in the morning. The earlier the better, and always before 10 a.m. or if you absolutely can before 10 a.m. Give that the lawn a good time to be able to soak in the moisture that it's receiving and because it's still cooler in the morning it's not going to evaporate. Now if you do have to water later in the afternoon you want to water after 5 p.m., but just for a little bit and try not to go much later. If you water in the evening, especially after dark, it tends to sit, the plants aren't utilizing it as much, and you can promote fungal issues and other diseases. So if you need more information on how to take care of your lawn, visit any of the North 40 Outfitters locations or stop by the website north40.com.